fatigue hit me like a wrecking ball literally if you follow me on instagram you guys know when i got pregnant with uh, my last child kamaya i was sleeping hey y'all it's your girl everything me and is back again with another video today's video we're going to be talking about the top five things to expect while pregnant y'all i got four kids and a husband i feel like i could talk about this subject i've been pregnant four different times i got two boys two girls um all in different periods of my life so why not help out some people here this far into the video don't forget to hit like comment subscribe join the goal gang 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 we live over here and that's on period since if you ain't got no goals set something achieve something the time is now if you needed a message or a memo it's me let's get it done 2022 we're coming after everything that god has ordained for us and don't you ever forget it y'all 31 days 31 videos march madness going ham all march posting a video every day you guys don't want to miss out don't forget to turn on your post notifications to be notified when i post videos because i'm talking about some of everything y'all life family makeup hair everything so why would you want to miss out so let's get into today's video like i said we're going to be talking about the top five things to expect while pregnant i wish somebody would have you know would have could have should have told me the these things about pregnancy before you know being pregnant so it's like I've been through four different pregnancies and four different stages of my life four different stages of relationships I have all this knowledge so why not share this with some of my moms whether you're young or you know somewhere in the middle I feel like what I have to share could benefit somebody of any age first things first one of the top five things to expect while pregnant is weight gain y'all it's okay to gain weight it's gonna happen you guys are growing a baby inside of you i wish someone would have told me that because my son i got pregnant with him when i was 17 years old i gained a lot of weight i went from like 125 anywhere from like 121 127 to 197 pounds i gained a tremendous amount of weight just for him to come out six pounds and nine ounces y'all <laughs> y'all and after I gave birth to him, I dropped all of that weight super quickly. And because that happened with him, I did not expect that to happen with my later pregnancies. With my son, I didn't have any stretch marks after giving birth. You know, I dropped the weight really quickly and I didn't have any issues. With my later children, I got stretch marks. I got, and it's like, y'all, stretch marks are okay. Like, if your mama got stretch marks, more than likely you gonna have stretch marks. And it's okay. It's just, you know, black people were predisposed to stretch marks. It is what it is. And it's just something to deal with. Just for the simple fact that you are a mother. Like, you created life. You've done something that some people can't do and some people yearn to do. So that's what made me change my thinking as far as like the weight gain and the stretch marks. Like it is what it is. Like I grew a baby and most of like my three kids that I had back to back were almost nine pounds. So it's like I grew almost nine pound human beings in my body and I have stretch marks on top of that. Like I feel like that's that's my lifetime achievement award right there. My stretch marks because I've done something that some people can't do and some people really long to do. So y'all weight gain it's okay stretch marks it's okay like it just comes with the territory and it's okay like a lot of people have stretch marks i have stretch marks and i got them from my daughter and she was eight pounds 13 ounces and i have stretch marks like all the way up you know to under my breast so it's okay something to deal with just comes with the territory second thing to expect while pregnant or during pregnancy is fatigue y'all when i say i was so tired like I, it was hard for me to do anything to be quite honest um especially in the earlier months just from the simple fact that i suffer from hyperemesis fatigue hit me like a wrecking ball literally if you follow me on instagram you guys know when i got pregnant with uh, my last child kamaya i was sleeping all the time i was completely off instagram for nine months like dropped off the face of the earth nobody seen me i only maybe came and talked on my stories a couple times and i know i did like a gender reveal video or something like that but majority of the time i was laying down sleep like so it's to be expected and it's just from your body working to create all of you know everything that it takes for this baby to live and thrive like i see the tiktok all the time when it's like my husband says not my husband but <laughs> on the tiktok video my husband says uh what have you done all day or when he comes back home and sees that that i've done nothing but sit on the couch all day and it's like i'm making a human ear or i'm making a heart like literally that's what you're doing so it's okay to be tired it is normal most moms are tired you're gonna be tired before and after the next thing to expect is free frequent urination like y'all when I say during my later months like maybe around the six seven like y'all I was going to the bathroom all the time like literally <laughs> during the night I never got a full night's rest 
in my later months because I was getting up like three or four times in the middle of the night just to go to the bathroom. Like I have to go to the bathroom all the time. I sneezed, I had to go to the bathroom. You know, like I just woke up, I had to go to the bathroom. I ate something, I gotta go to the bathroom. I just drank something, gotta go to the bathroom. Like literally it's to be expected. You're growing a baby and you know, your organs still are in the same place. So with you growing the baby, you know, of course they adapt and they move out the way a little bit, but the baby is pressing up against your bladder from, you know, the growth of how big the baby is getting. So expect to use the bathroom a lot and you need to drink a lot of water as well. The fourth thing to expect is appetite changes. Y'all, and whether it be you eat more or you eat less, like for me, uh, typically my appetite went down, just like I said, for the simple fact that I suffer from hyperemesis, it's something to be expected. So my appetite completely changed. I only could eat like fruit, veggies, um, things that were very light. And that's just what, what Kamaya seemed to like with the boys. I ate steak and potatoes and burgers. It's <laughs> It was so crazy. I knew when I was pregnant with a boy and I knew when I was pregnant with a girl. So with um, my daughters, I ate really light things. I couldn't really eat anything that was too heavy. It just didn't work that way. And I craved specific things and I can only eat that specific thing. And if I ate anything outside of that, it was, it was hell to pay the captain, y'all. It just was too much going on. Just, yeah. So expect your appetite to change, whether um, it may go up or go down. It's just depending on what it is for that pregnancy because every pregnancy is different and not everything is picture perfect or a, a specific cookie cutout. So expect something different every time. And the fifth thing to expect, you know, being pregnant or after pregnancy is having a newfound respect for mothers. If you are pregnant for the first time and then you go through pregnancy and giving birth and everything, you really understand like the respect for a mother like literally everything that you go through the sleepless nights you know the appetite changes the fatigue the stretch marks all of those things you really understand what it is that mothers go through and I mean not saying that as a woman you don't understand what mothers go through but being a mother you can relate to a mother or if you've ever been in a mother role you can relate to that like it is really hard just pregnancy in itself and just dealing with the changes that come with your body after pregnancy like it is hard guys and I commend every mother every woman who's been you know through this journey I commend y'all just because it's hard and I mean only the tough survive okay <laughs> because pregnancy is not for the faint of heart y'all like at all or specifically I can say for myself because I had hyperemesis with three of my pregnancies you know I was barely able to do anything and it, it just was hard y'all and sometimes my mental health got to the best of me like dang I really feel like I'm not a good parent just because you know being sick I felt like I wasn't able to be there for my kids the way that I wanted to be but it's just like I had to realize like it is okay and at least I have somebody here or I have help to pick up where I left off so that's the good thing y'all the newfound respect that you have for a mother and embrace y'all tribe y'all if y'all need help allow people to help you it's okay like everybody needs help sometimes those are the top five things to expect while pregnant i see you guys um tomorrow with another video don't forget to hit like comment subscribe join the go gang 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 we lit over here and that's so curious it's if you ain't got no goals set some achieve some the time is now if you needed a message or a memo it's me let's get it done 2022 we're coming after everything that god has ordained for us and don't you ever forget it march madness 31 days 31 videos going ham all of march don't forget to turn on your post notifications to be notified when i post the video you guys don't want to miss out on this content at all come in lifestyle family hair makeup beauty whatever just stay tuned I've been messed up, I've been broke now Gotta catch up, gotta shine now